today is a good day because Jeff just wrote me a new workout plan. We have a brand new strategy along with the new diet into prep. And I'm about to meet up with Eddie because we're going to be going over our YouTube plan and some stuff we have to work out on the business side. What I find in most relationships, business-wise, career-wise, just networking, communication is major key because it will help, it'll help keep everything fully transparent with what we're trying to um, communicate with other people, between each other, make sure we're most efficient and most effective. So about to have this meeting and I leave it open to Eddie. Whenever he wants to uh, have a meeting with me, he just puts it in the calendar, we have a meeting, and the same goes with me. Everything always goes so smooth. If you guys like these consistent uploads, let me know below and let's go find Eddie Lifts. All through our prep, we've been coming to Bliss a lot more um, and they have some crazy baked goods. I love to look at them kind of weird even on Instagram when I'm prepping I love to flip through all the food what is it called food profiles and then watch food channels and this man out here getting the chocolate chip cookie yeah it's honestly so good I didn't think it was that great when I first tried it better than Starbucks I don't know I don't know why you like Starbucks so much and I don't know when they heat it up and it's so melted and soft and the chocolate is melting in your mouth no sus it's so good this man bringing out the heat. I kind of feel like a nerd because the drone to me is like a toy. I like flying it around for fun, like a remote control airplane. Um, Sky just got here. She just caught some new swag at Lululemon. I'm about to hit the gym, but first I need to smash my pre-workout stat, guys. We just low-key walked in on Jeff and Rashawn filming. <laughs> Sus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna introduce the topic of the video guys. It's gonna be my aggressive 14 day weight loss plan. And this is very extreme guys. This is for rapid weight loss for a bodybuilding show. So I don't recommend it to too many people. It's probably unsustainable, but if you need to go to extreme lengths to fit in that dress, to fit in those shorts, to have a trip coming, you can try this out. But I'm warning you guys, it's only for people that can handle the extreme rapid weight loss plan. So I'm gonna go over the diet and then I'm gonna go over the training. It's flames, guys, it's flames. This is the professional setup right here, guys, behind the scenes. <laughs> it's the, actually super the, ratchet. The, <laughs> the, the real talent behind the camera. Not him. <laughs> Pre-workout Pre of... Sorry, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Pre workout of choice today Muscle Freak and Sit Mallet. This is major key. My favorite thing to add. And what I'm going to do is go over the plan right after this um, while I uh, have the training clips rolling. So you guys can see where I'm at. How many days out is it? 21st. 15 days out. No skin pizza. Where are we going after? Bro, you, you make that call. That's what do you think? I don't know. What do you think's good? I feel like we should go to some kind of big cookhouse that has a lot of options just so you can go crazy. Also, I feel like I think that you should do like an, a crazy cheat day on Sunday after the show and document it. I think so. Let's go in. Would you be down to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. I feel like it would be so fun to film yeah. and like, just I'll, I'll try to get decently lean so I can partake. <laughs> yes! Dude, that would be, that'd be yeah. so dope. How would I react? Say Jeff, you're wrong. Tell the truth. Felt like balling was the only thing to do. Trim my woman for some diamonds and a cold. Oh, didn't see you there. So I want to go over my 14 day extreme weight loss plan guys. And so I'm actually following a meal plan like I mentioned and what I'm going to be doing 
Every day I'm gonna be breaking things down into five meals. So the first three meals, really important, it's going to be three steak meals. And I'm using a tip or a top sirloin. Those are the leanest cuts of beef. If you guys get anything, maybe like a tenderloin or a ribeye, the fat might be a little bit too high. Um, so I do recommend having those cuts um, for beef. Then my next two meals in the day, it's gonna be either a fish or chicken meal, and then my last meal is gonna be a free protein meal, which I'm either probably going to finish with chicken or fish. Along with this, I'm gonna be having 100 grams of broccoli. I believe it's around five carbs for each meal as well. So that's gonna be all the protein from the five cuts of meat. And for me, I'm gonna be intaking 200 grams. I think it's around 40 grams per serving. And then 100 grams of broccoli, which ends up being uh, five grams per serving as well. And that's all I'm gonna be consuming for the next 14 days. It is very extreme. I know for sure I'm gonna lose weight. This is gonna put me in a caloric deficit. So let's say somebody who weighs 100 pounds or 125 pounds, you might actually gain weight on this. So you need to make sure your servings of the meat are hitting a minimum protein requirement. You're not going over that and then you're having lean sources. So someone who wants to take it more extreme, you can cut it back and just have five white fish meals instead of having all beef meals and go from there. So there you have it guys, five meals a day, three steak, and two either fish or chicken, and then 100 grams of broccoli with each meal. With regards to training, this is gonna be the Stubborn Fat Loud McDonald's protocol, a little bit of a mix. I'm doing a three day split, doing it twice. So it's gonna be an upper, lower, and a full body day. I'm following the same principles with my upper and lower days, except I'm gonna be ending each day off with what I need to work on the most, and that's my glutes and my legs. So that's what is being stubborn right now. I can't burn any of the fat off in those areas. So what I'm gonna be doing, three sets, 10 to 12 reps, hip thrusts, with only 30 to 40 second rest, get the blood flowing in the muscle. What you're trying to do is release the lipids out of the fat cell, so they're going through the bloodstream and then eventually jump right onto the Stairmaster right after. So then while I'm doing lists, I'm gonna burn those fat cells. So it's just a theory, it's not 100%, but at the end of prep, I wanna take things to the most extreme and just doing this little thing isn't a big deal for me, it isn't stressful. That is the protocol that I'm gonna be following. It's very, very extreme, is it sustainable? No. Do you have to do it to get to extreme body fat levels? Yes. One thing that I did forget to mention is my cardio protocol. So it's gonna be 45 minutes of the Stairmaster right after the hip thrusts, and then I'm gonna do another 45 minutes um, another time in the day. So I'll go to the gym twice a day, and that's 90 minutes of cardio a day. So I hope you guys like this protocol. It is very extreme, so um, it's not for everybody. If you guys wanna lose weight really quickly in a short period of amount of time, it's something that you guys can follow. Other than that, let's get back to the vlog, and thanks for listening. So we finished the workout. I am following that plan like I mentioned. So I did the full body day, did my 45 minutes of cardio, and now we're heading to Sub City so Eddie and Scott can eat. And then I'm about to have my first meal of the day. I uh, fasted this morning and damn, I was so wavy, up and down, up and down. I might actually have to start eating like 20 grams of protein before or eat like half of my meals because fasting until 6 p.m. is pretty tough. So we're gonna get the food here, head back to the place. I think we're gonna have some fun team building event tonight. It's kind of funny because a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know if I wanna eat this in front of you or I don't, want, I don't know if I wanna ask you to come out because I know you can't eat. But at the end of the day, this was my choice to do the show and it's something that I want to do. It's my choice, it's something that I enjoy. So going out, it's fun still hanging out with my friends. I still wanna be social. You don't wanna hold back your life. And if it comes to a point where you feel like you're not enjoying the process and you can't, I don't know, you, it's affecting you and affecting the external things happening other than prep and you're too consumed, well then maybe you're not ready for the prep. You have to be in that mindset to know before you start, there is gonna be sacrifices, things that you can't do because you are prepping. But this is totally normal. Like, this is something you choose to do, like um, Canada Day or like July the 4th for Americans, like that already passed. And then I had my own birthday, right? I already knew that I was gonna have to prep through those, but I was happy with it. I actually worked all day because it's something that I like to do. And that's not gonna be for everyone. Like, I'm lucky to find a job that I enjoy. You just have to find that balance for yourself. 
So I'm here, still hanging out with my beautiful girlfriend, one of my best friends, Eddie, and there's really good vibes in the gym with Jeff and Steph, and just having fun. I'm, I'm thankful to be around this environment and, and be prepping with these positive people trying to uplift my goals. And nothing's worse than when people, you tell people your goal, you tell them what you want to achieve in life, and they try and bring you down. Oh, just cheat once. Well, do they really, are they look, really looking out for the best interest of you? Or are they just wanting you to cheat because they want to have more fun with you? Surround yourself with people who are genuinely are supporting you for what you want. And with this said, it's like all these people are supporting me for an amateur bodybuilding show. Something that I'm just doing for fun. It's something that I do really appreciate. Couldn't be more thankful and it's, I'm having a blast. So tonight, not sure, I think we're gonna go bowling. I'm gonna have to kick their butt. We're gonna be doing a team building event because I believe that having that positive um, relationship with people will improve efficiency, effectiveness, make the workplace a lot better. So we'll see what we wanna do. And then I get to eat my first meal soon after they get to eat. So this is what we like to do. You get the salad so you can fit the cookie in the macros. Instead of getting the wrap. It's worth it. Cookie or donut? I don't know. This cookie's pretty good. Cookie or donut? You already know. Cookie. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> man. Cookie gang gang, let me know. Cookie gang or donut gang? It's a tough one. So I'm gonna be transparent with you guys and I'm not going to be having any broccoli today. I'm just gonna have meat. I've been, I feel like it's been working for me and I'm feeling really good. And I just wanna continue to dig in an athlete aspect. I don't know what it is, I just wanna feel hardcore. Um, I told, I talked to Jeff about it, um, talked to Coach about it, it's fine. So I, I always just be transparent with your coach so you can make the best call. So I'm just gonna have this meat. I'm gonna be having steak, marinating steak inside a round. And then I have sterling sirloin tip. So each cut is a little bit um, fattier. The round has a little bit more fat and I'm only gonna have two steak meals today. So I'm gonna have the, a little bit fattier one. And then tomorrow when I have three steak meals, um, one fish meal and one chicken meal, I'll have the leaner because I'm gonna get more nutrients. So I'm gonna cook this steak up right now. So before I reveal these, I just want to let you know that Montreal has some of the best strip clubs in Canada, world renowned. And uh, I'm just kidding guys, these are my posing trunks, bodybuilding posing trunks. Do like a magic mic. Magic mic dance? Yeah. I decided to go with the, the emerald green. Shout out Ignite Suits on Instagram. Can't wait to put them on. <laughs> So this steak weighed out to be 300 grams and it's a little bit bigger than my meals when I split them up into five, but I'm still getting overall less by breaking it up in two meals today. So I'll do that every second day, breaking them down to a small five or too big, but it's like a low and high day back and forth. Nice. Tell the people what spices you use on that. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I don't even know. We use this Hawaiian wood fire, Montreal one, and then just salt and pepper. <laughs> I really like that Hawaiian barbecue. Second time using it, so good. You guys don't even know how good this man is feeling with a full belly. Had to shout out kosher apparel made by my man Rashawn. He got the V3 release in suit. This is part of the V2. Aesthetic revolution pants. Almost like the hype beast style. Jeez. And then socks and dad sandals. What are those? Uh, with the Supreme. And then I got this from, it's actually pretty cheap. I just like the style of it. Um, feather. I got another one. And then I got like this here. Has some Asian writing on it. I thought it was pretty cool. What's it say? I don't know what it says, so <laughs> I don't want to expose myself. Fake Asian. And then, uh, Supreme hat. Yeah. Swag for today. Gonna head over to the bowling alley so I can kick these guys' butts. About to go bowling. Um, I'm gonna probably end things off here. Um, I just want to do activities where I get my mind off dining, have some fun with the family, and connect 
So these are the people that are closest to me. Um, it can't be work 24-7. So work hard, play hard, Girl, have some fun. Out the window of the bands so we get sitting in the rent. And I'm like, whoa. If you guys liked the video, give it a like, subscribe if you're not part of the team, and I'll see you guys in the next video.